so this is the question asked in ems right so how we can convert this reagent that is left side to the right side so uh, we, they have given this three reagent dibale chini bh4 and s3o plus in acidic hydrolysis so they have rearranged it and they have made this four options one two three and four a b c d right so we have to do so if we know the work of everything we can easily tell so this dibale is the right dibale dibale is a reducing agent it converts only esters only esters not aldehyde nor ketone it converts only esters into this aldehyde right so this is the function of dibale and what is the function of nabh4 nabh4 converts this what mm, this aldehyde or ketone aldehyde or ketone so i have written h r r ketones to primary alcohols or ch to oh if it is aldehyde we will get primary alcohol if it is ketone we will get what secondary alcohol right we will get secondary alcohol so this is primary when aldehyde will be converted to primary alcohol if ketone is there that will be converted to secondary alcohol so that is the function of what that is the function of nabh4 if you know that function we can easily do so here we want to convert this ester to aldehyde right yeah that is true and ketone initially ketone when it is reduced with that is nabh4 it will be converted to alcohol and further it will be removed and we will get a double bond here so how we can do so from option a let us see we will shall i will write this given reagent that is here i have what ester och3 and here what i have i have ketone in the first reagent that is a what they have given dibale h followed by nabh4 followed by acidic hydrolysis so let us solve this up what happens first they have added dibale h dibale h so it what it will do it will convert this ester into aldehyde so i have written that product and ketone it won't uh, it won't do anything with the ketone so ketone remained as it is and second step they have added nabh4 second step they have added nabh4 to this if i add nabh4 what happens it will reduce aldehydes and ketones to alcohols so here aldehyde will be reduced to primary alcohol so i will get ch2oh and here ketone will be reduced to secondary alcohol that is that oh F further if we do hydrolysis see uh, in the given uh, product we want this aldehyde group which is not there in this a so this is not the thing so a is not the thing so let us try with the b right let us see what happens with the b so what happens with the b let us see that so let me c1 okay sorry okay with the b what first hydrolysis they have given so this is nothing can be done because you have to remember what this hydrolysis does nothing this if if i do a hydrolysis here this ester is there right o ch3 and here i have ketone if i do acidic hydrolysis s3o plus in presence of heating if i do nothing will happen the ester will be converted to carboxylic acid ester will be converted to carboxylic acid oh and ketones remains as it is and in the second step what they have done in the second step they have added nabh4 followed by dibale h so what product we shall see let us see what product we will get it let us see that also right so if they add nabh4 right second step they have what are okay nabh4 followed by dibale h if i add nabh4 it will reduce only this ketones to alcohol so let me write the product so we will get this product this carboxylic acid remains as it is and it will be converted to second alcohol if i add dibale h nothing happens dibale h because it will only reduce esters not the carboxylic acid not the alcohol so nothing product so our required product we won't get it so this uh, required product we won't get it right so b option is also wrong let us try for c option first they will add nabh4 followed by dibale h let us try that right so let me take the pen color change okay first what they have done they have taken let me go for new slide i have taken this one and here i have what ester coo ch3 ester and here they have ketone right first they have added nabh4 right yeah they have added nabh4 first they have added nabh4 so what we will get will nabh4 means we know that will only reduce this ketone it will only reduce this ketone not the esters so ester remains as it is ester remains as it is coch3 
ketone will be converted to second alcohol and second step they have added dibal H dibal H right now dibal H we know that esters will be converted to aldehyde so it is got converted to aldehyde and alcohol and other functional group remains as it is because these reagents are chemoselective chemoselective means only to that functional group they will react not other react so we call the name chemoselective chemoselective right okay then what they'll do in third step they have done acidic hydrolysis in presence of heating so whenever heating is there you should understand that it is elimination reaction elimination reaction when you are studying this e1 e2 elimination reaction there they will tell the importance of this heating based on thermonics delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s to explain this they will explain the importance of this heating i hope you all know that so i am just taking the problems from those competitive exams right so here what happens when i heat it in presence of uh, acid sorry in presence of acid this h plus is there right this h plus will attack this lone pair because it is electron rich alcohol followed by it will make this as a good living group by converting it into oh2 plus oh2 plus it is a good living group right and here i have what aldehyde group remains as it is because this water won't react with aldehyde if it reacts also it forms hemi acetals and acetals followed by we'll get the same aldehyde so it will make this alcohol finally i can tell this it will make this alcohol as a good living group so it is a good living group right and here what i have here i have this h so this is this is what alpha position and this is beta position so or i can tell this is the living group this is alpha carbon and this is beta carbon beta hydrogen is there so elimination happens so we call it as beta elimination beta elimination right so beta elimination means this h will go and we'll get double bond here and this oh is a good living group because it has converted to oh2 plus plus not good on electronic totem so what we'll get we'll get a product like this so we'll get this product aldehyde remains as it is aldehyde remains as it is and we'll get a alkene here right so this is what elimination so this was the required product right so here aldehyde was needed and here alkene was needed so this was the required product so we got it so the correct option is this c option right you can try it for d also if you try you will get it wrongly only shall we do once c c d means what dibal h so dibal h what it will do first it will convert this uh, ester to aldehyde so i have converted this ester into aldehyde followed by what acidic hydrolysis if i do acidic hydrolysis with aldehydes or ketone they just converts into if aldehyde is there it will be converted to hemiacetal hemiacetal if ketone is there it will be converted to hemi ketal and these will be in equilibrium again we will get the same product back that is hemi ketal will get ket ketones hemi ketals will get estones so no use right so our correct option is the c option right i hope this video has helped you thank you